Watch Dogs Legion is set in a sort of a near future version of London where things have gone terribly, terribly wrong. All is about as bad as it could possibly go. Your mission is to build a popular resistance in order to fight back against the sort of emergence of this authoritarian regime. You do that by recruiting whoever you want from the open world and uh, making them the characters in your resistance and the, the heroes of your gameplay and the stars of your story. Play as anyone basically means that any character that you find on the street, in the pub, just anywhere in your game, even characters in a mission, can be potential recruits into your DedSec team. You can profile them, you can learn about them, you can help them with their problems, and then they'll eventually join your team and be part of your group of DedSec members. You know, in the previous two games, you could still profile people and see these facts about their lives, and we've sort of just taken that to the logical conclusion of, okay, these aren't little bits of random trivia, but this is actually who they are in terms of being fully simulated people in our world, how that affects gameplay, and the fact that you can bring them onto your team. And so your dead sec is the people you've recruited. And my game's not gonna be the same as your game, it's not gonna be the same as anyone else's game. Everyone's gonna have a different team. Where the new dead sec in London emerges from is kind of part of the, the mystery of the, of the entire game. There isn't one star dude in the box who you get your story and your cutscenes from. It's literally the people that you recruit from the world are the stars of your story and the heroes of your gameplay. With different backstories on your characters, with different relationships, like it truly is about who you've chosen to pull onto your team. One of the main motivations of developing Play As Anyone and working on, on all of the technology that would support it was to be able to tell a cohesive and coherent story no matter who you would recruit from the open world. So the goal was, if I can recruit a granny off of the street and, and you know take her into the big climactic cutscene against the dude in the powered armor, or I can take the, you know, the former Royal Marine into the same cutscene. That cutscene needs to be different. It needs to have a different performance, different character, different voice acting, different animation, uh, no matter which character you take into it. You know, Watch Dogs Legion is still a very traditionally story-based game. We haven't compromised that narrative experience in order to have play as anyone. We've actually done a ton of work to make sure that, you know, these people who you recruit to your team they're all voice acted, they're all animated, they have the facial animation, they have all the stuff you would expect from a AAA game. Wait, what happened to that bloke who helped me? He didn't make it. Every character in our game comes with them a unique sort of gameplay benefit that we call a trait. So some people are good at punching and melee, and some people are good at guns, and some people are good at stealth, or they're good at hacking. Maybe what you really need is the fact that your operatives keep getting arrested because you're not great at combat, and maybe you need to like recruit a lawyer, or you recruit a former lawyer, or you recruit some criminal that's been in jail a bunch of times, that have specific traits that help people get out of jail. So it's sort of like an encouragement to go and explore the world. And that's also based on their fully simulated life. So if you find someone who happens to be a underground bare knuckle boxer character, then they're going to have a good melee trait. Or if you find someone who's an ex-spy, they might be really good with uh, silenced pistols. Everyone sort of has a kind of opinion about DedSec, whether they support it or they oppose it, and that will determine how much work you need to do in order to get them on your side. So once you start helping them with their problems, they'll start becoming more amenable towards DedSec in general until they're ready to be recruited. The more someone dis likes DedSec, the more work you've got to do to get them onto your team. So you might have to do two or three different favors from them. And these favors could be very serious. They could be getting a loved one out of jail or uh, clearing a debt that they've got with one of the crime families. And they could also be really lighthearted. They could be uh, beating them at darts. You're taking a character that already sort of has this internal life. They have a schedule, they have friends and families, they have problems, um, they have memories, they remember what you've done. You're taking that character and then you're putting them on your team. And then all those sort of things that that makes up that person is now part of your team, their personality, their voice, the way they act, the way they move. Once people come onto your team, you continue to customize them. So we've got a full progression path for each character. You level up, you earn XP, you install perks that change your gameplay ability. So like you're really customizing your team. The characters remember, and they also remember when you do things to people that they know. I'm fighting a bunch of enemies, and maybe I kill five you know, enemy soldiers. Oh, I just killed five enemy soldiers. Those five enemy soldiers had friends and families. They'll remember that. They like DedSec a lot less. So like, there's like sort of this um, cascading effect as you do actions, and people remember them, and they remember the things that you do about other people. Huh? 
Permadeath is a really important part of Watch Dogs Legion, and we really wanted this to feel like a, you know, a game about serious issues with serious consequences. And further, when you're building a team, we really want you to feel attached to those characters, and part of that is knowing that there are real stakes with that. We actually chose London before the, you know, the current political issues that are happening in the United Kingdom with, with Brexit and all of that, and that just kind of ended up, you know, adding this layer to our backstory and our universe and, and allowing us to go a little bit further with our what if. And so London provides really the perfect context for a, for a Watch Dogs game. And that inspired us to think about how does the intelligence apparatus and how does sort of state surveillance take shape in that world. And so we're able to really make our world feel grounded and credible because we're starting from a place that's extremely familiar and based on reality, and then going someplace that's sort of fantastical uh, without completely detaching and becoming something that's sort of just science fiction. I prefer interesting and challenging work, and I find that this is probably the most interesting and the most challenging work that I've done. So one of the things I really love is not just helping to develop the systems, but also trying to figure out, all right, what are we gonna fill those systems with, right? It's not just interesting to say, all right, someone's job affects what they do in the world. It's also interesting to say, okay, jobs we have are con artists and construction workers and archeologists. It's like, all right, so what kind of things can they do in the world? Like start thinking about um, not just a cool system that you're making, but what are you populating that system with? And then start exploring what are the interesting connections that show up between those two. It's fucking wild that we're looking like we're going to be able to land the most ambitious parts of this thing. The concept that literally anybody you see on the street feel like they belong in that environment, yet still become a hero who has the skills and appears in the cinematics and has her unique personality stay with them when they become playable, that's bananas. The entire vision of the game is about me moving away and saying, no, it belongs to you, it belongs to the player. I'm not the hero, you're the hero. That's what I want people to take from this game and that's why we made this game. Watch Dogs Legion, available March 6, 2020.